the next ratio we have in front of us is total asset turnover ratio the difference between fixed asset and total asset is in fixed asset you consider only tangible assets whereas in total assets you have tangible assets intangible assets your investments and your current assets in in summary we are saying that the entire asset side has to be considered as asset side of the balance sheet has to be considered as asset right so the interpretation remains the same with lesser amount of assets you want to generate as high a sales as possible or with the for the same sales you want to have as lesser an asset as possible and hence you want this total asset turnover ratio to be as high as possible right so let's go ahead and calculate this ratio sales is something we already have total asset is average of the total balance sheet size over the last two years so if i calculate the ratio we just discussed this number has to be as high as possible between last year and this year it has slightly increased i would say the increase is uh, negligible so we can say between last year and this year the company's total asset turnover ratio has remained same the efficiency has remained same so to sum it up all the company's current asset turnover ratios have increased all the current liabilities turnover ratio has deteriorated and hence as a result it's netted off and hence working capital turnover ratio remain flat fixed asset turnover ratio also remain same i mean if in terms of efficiency it remain same and your total asset turnover ratio has also remain same efficiency has remain same right so this is how we have to look at all the asset turnover ratios and interpret them